Hey my friends, how are you? Let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but before that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Jamal Dean Free Agency Predictions, Landing Spots Include Bengals, Dallas Cowboys, and Lions. This year's NFL free agent cornerback class is headlined by household names, but also heading into the 30-year-old season. It's best to avoid giving star players at this age a long-term contract, as the difference in athleticism can be huge as they age. Targeting players around age 27 could lead to more free agent success if the right fit is in place. One of the best all-around and top players out there is Jamal Dean. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers corner should cash in despite being more of a cover three corner that gets shaded help from linebackers and safeties. Dean has come a long way from his first two years in college, where he said his career was in jeopardy due to injuries, my first two years of college were probably the darkest days of my life. I had two surgeries before I went to college, I went to Ohio State and they told me there was no hope for my football career due to the way my knees are positioned. Hearing this at a young age, I thought, is this it? His remarkable drive and perseverance left him on the brink of cashing in after four solid years in Tampa Bay. Let's dive into Dean's free agency predictions. The Bengals were able to take full advantage of Eli Apple's experience, developing a defense that mitigated his weaknesses. But with Apple hitting free agency, the Bengals could replace him with Dean and pair him with Chido Bawuzi. Like Dean, Awuzie is underrated in the public eye because neither forces high turnover. The Cowboys already have a good cornerback, it makes sense for the Cowboys to add Dean. Cowboys need sophisticated corners to compete with the top players. Sorry, Jack Handy isn't walking through that door and my Saturday nights are only occasionally live anymore. The NFL draft is now in the rearview mirror but the evaluation period of what the Dallas Cowboys accomplished has only just begun. There's a fun discussion to be had about when one knows whether or not a draft is successful. Next day grades are fun, but irrelevant, but it also feels like a stretch to say one doesn't know how well a draft class is until after three years. Three years is the average NFL career. It feels like the sweet spot for evaluating a draft is really around the midpoint of year two. If that prospect isn't an impact player by week nine or so of the second season, then he's more than likely a wasted pick. And you fan, what do you think of the Jamel Dean situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.